When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, in this video I will be presenting what I consider a singular, undeniable proof that the Flat Earth notion is incorrect. Specifically, any and all Flat Earth models that have been put forth do not reflect the reality that we all agree upon. I'm, I'm actually quite frustrated with myself that I didn't think to make this video a long time ago, and I'm really, truly surprised that I haven't seen a video about this already. Maybe it's because it was too obvious, hiding in plain sight, I don't know. But I really should have sussed this out before. But it took a flat earther to say something tremendously wrong in a comment thread to light this fire. Funny how that works. So why do I think that this evidence is undeniable? Because everyone agrees on the axioms it's based on, which is very important. Because I can say that the Earth having both a northern and southern celestial pole disproves a stationary Earth with a rotating dome, but a flat Earth believer can and will just say that the southern celestial pole doesn't exist. No matter how solid your reasoning, if they don't agree on the foundational elements, your argument will be taken as unreasonable. So we have to have everyone in agreement about the elements going in, in order for the evidence to be truly compelling. And I think I have it. Let's look at the points we agree on. These are points that are verified, repeatable, and have been without dispute for as far back as any of us can research. First, some basic math. We all agree that a circle is 360 degrees. We all agree that the division of 360 degrees into 24 sections results in 15 degree sections. We all agree one solar day on Earth is approximately 24 hours. That's the time it takes for the sun to appear exactly due north or south, depending on the viewer's location on the Earth, go off and come back to due north or south again. Whether you think the Earth is rotating or the sun is traveling, we all agree it takes about 24 hours to make a full cycle. And lastly, we all agree it is a demonstrable fact that the sun changes position on the path of the ecliptic of approximately 15 degrees each hour, no matter where you are on Earth. Let me show you. Our friends over at timeanddate.com can calculate the sun's apparent position for any time you put in. I'm going to put in some dates. February 16th, Black Panther Day, the spring equinox, and June 12th and October 6th are just two random dates. As you can see, each hour the sun's position changes by 15 degrees. And timeanddate.com has been promoted as accurate by everyone from D-Marble to Globebusters. So we have that in agreement. And if I take those dates and assign them to different locations on the planet, this sun calculator will show you the sun's hour angle changes about 15 degrees anywhere on Earth. And like I said, this is a verifiable fact that people have observed consistently throughout history. So how does this prove anything? Well, let's look at what the GLOBE model says. The sun's apparent motion in the sky is due to the Earth's rotation. It turns 360 degrees in 24 hours, 15 degrees each hour. Since the Earth is some 93 million miles away from the sun on average, every location on Earth is essentially the same distance away from the sun. Every place on Earth is, in essence, the center of rotation. The GLOBE model predicts that the hourly angular change for the sun should be quite nearly the same for every location on the Earth, 15 degrees. The GLOBE model explains and predicts how we see the sun in reality perfectly. What does the Flat Earth model predict? Well, the closest Flat Earthers have to a working model starts with a map that looks more or less like this. There are maps with minor differences, but this is the most popular version. Above this map of the Earth, the Sun moves along a circular path. It's not perfectly circular because it moves between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn throughout the year, just as it appears to do in the globe model and in observed reality. The distance the Sun is from the Earth varies in different versions, flat earthers aren't unified, 
but all models have the Earth fairly nearby, only a few thousand miles up. Now, I could or should be able to pick any time of the year, but for clarity's sake, I'll use the equinox as an example, because we all know that means the sun is right over the equator. And in a flat Earth model, it would trace a circle like this. Now, the North Pole is at the center of that circle, according to the flat Earth proponents. Very different from the globe, where the long distance from the sun made all of the Earth the center. Using the North Pole as a location, you can see that with every hour that passes, the sun moves 15 degrees along its path from the viewer's position, equally spaced, just as it should. Excellent. Let's try another location like South Africa. Hmm. Are those all shifting 15 degrees? I don't think so. Well, let's go with Colombia. Uh, no, that's not 15 degrees. That's not evenly spaced. But wait, people might be concerned that this is all two-dimensional. That's not reality. We should check this in a 3D model. Okay, let's do that. First, let's look at how the globe sees the sun shift. Uh, let's try a northern location. Nice, regular spacing, the size of my 15-degree guides. The same for this location near the equator. Now, the north pole of the flat Earth model should show similar even spacing. What about a location nearer the equator? Nope. We won't even get into the difference in the size of the sun due to location, just the angular change. This does not reflect what we all agree is seen in the real world, not even close. The flat earth model utterly fails. Now, some of you flat earthers may be thinking that something like atmospheric lensing could be altering the appearance of the sun so it appears to be moving 15 degrees per hour, which would be an amazing coincidence. No. The sun's location in the sky changes by 15 degrees every hour, every day, everywhere on the planet, regardless of temperature, regardless of the air's moisture content. 120 Fahrenheit and bone dry, 15 degrees. 90 and sweltering, 15 degrees. Bone dry and Arctic cold, 15 degrees. No amount of perspective or magical lensing could make that happen. But you know what does make that happen? A rotating Earth and a distant Sun. Look, we all agreed on the axioms I started with. The globe is the only model that fits. And what's funny is we all agreed on those facts just a few minutes ago. But now, I just know that there are flat earthers trying to think of a way to claim that the sun doesn't appear that way. A way to rewrite history. But no matter how much you want it not to, it does. We're done. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.